back when I was on the tools for an AV company, I used to get asked a lot, can I get the system to do something if I'm driving down the road towards my house, such as turn on some lights, or play some music, or even boil the kettle, can it be done? In short, and natively, the answer is no. We need some sort of service to be able to provide geofencing. A geofence is a virtual perimeter around a real world area. So for example, if you imagine a invisible boundary around your home that's 300 meters in diameter in all different directions, and when you enter and or exit that boundary, it triggers uh, an action such as turning on some lights or even playing the music. Geofencing requires a location aware device capable of location based services. So what's the one thing we all have in our pockets every day we're walking around with that knows our location? Our mobile phones. So to achieve this, we need to use a platform as a service and a platform we can use is IFTTT or IFT to create a geofence. IFTTT or IFT however you say it, is an acronym for if this then that and is a online platform to create if statements so for example if the fridge door was left open then send a notification to my phone and flash some lights for instance if has partnerships with many services that are used every single day and access to the public apis so iot devices so internet of things devices can integrate together with ease so going back to my initial question i'd like the system to do something if i'm driving down the road towards my house such as turn on some lights or play some music can this be done with ift yes it can and let's see how we can do it Before we get started, there will be some expense to getting this working. First of all, you need to purchase the Elan Ift Maker Driver from Driver Central. There's a free trial on the driver, but eventually you will need to pay a license. Ift does have a free tier, a pro tier, and a pro plus tier. The free tier gives you a maximum of five applets. You're also restricted on adding multiple conditions and multiple actions, but for the purpose of the video, the free tier is fine. To send notifications to Elan, you'll need to use the pushover platform, which gives you a free 30-day trial, but when that trial's up, you'll need to purchase a license per platform, whether that's iOS, Android, or desktop. At the time of this video, it's about $5 per platform. So I'm gonna start with pushover. Pushover is a notification messaging service that the Elan driver utilizes as a middleware for messaging from Ift back to Elan. It provides us with a cloud connection that the driver is consistently connected to so we can notify new commands instantaneously. So let's go ahead to pushover.net. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log myself in. In the center here, we have a push notification window where we can send push notifications to test. On the right is the user key, which we can use to receive push notifications from a pushover powered application. Then we have your devices, which is where we add LAN and any other devices we want notifications sent to. At this point, I need to open the LAN configurator and import the IFT maker from Driver Central. So if I go to Driver Central and download the driver, it's free for seven days, but then you'll have to purchase a license for it. I've then saved the driver in my LAN drivers folder. In the configurator, I'll go to input output and then generic serial devices. I'll right click on there and add new generic serial device. And the IFT maker should be in there provided you have pointed the folder to your LAN driver's location. Once that's imported, we have some properties here. We have the activation key and status. We have the IFT key and the pushover message, username and password field. When all these fields are complete, it's gonna obtain the pushover secret and provide the WebSocket status. Because we haven't set up on the IFT platform yet, I'm gonna just put in my pushover details in the username and password field. So I just put my email address and my password. Once I've applied those properties and pressed initiate, the pushover secret has been obtained and the WebSocket is connected. If I head back to the pushover web browser and refresh this page, it's now populated an Elan IFT device. And that's it for pushover for the moment. 
Now we can go to Ift and we can get the key for the driver. So once you've signed up to Ift, you can also download and log in on the iOS app or the Android app and start building applets. On the Ift site, you can browse the services available. If we scroll down the list, there's many of them. Absolutely loads of services. So I'm going to go back to the top and type in webhooks. These integrate other services on Ift with your DIY projects. Then in the top right is a settings cog. When we click on that, we get a URL with a string of text after the use forward slash. This is our key. So I'm going to copy that key and paste it into the if the driver in Elang configurator and that's all the initial steps done now let's create some automation on if i'll go back to the home page and i can explore the applets and services applets bring together the services to create automation and the services are the apps and devices that are used every single day so in explore i'm going to type in location and we can see a service called location and it has some popular workflows and automations other users have created and published so we can choose those and edit them to our liking. Location allows apps and websites to use information from cellular, Wi-Fi and GPS networks to determine your approximate location. This service requires downloading the IFT app on your phone. So I can then click create and this is where we create our applet. The location service is our geofence. So if I click on if this, it brings up the services. I'll type in location again. And the options I have on that service are you enter an area, you exit an area, you enter or exit an area. All are quite self-explanatory. I'm going to choose you enter an area. The trigger fires every time you enter the area you specify. Now it asks me to locate an area. So I'm going to find my house on the map and leave a slight radius around my property so it gives it a chance to trigger the command and then i'm going to go to create trigger now we set up then that the second part of if this then that we type in pushover and we want to send a pushover notification and press connect we'll then display a message or open a new window to allow pushover to subscribe to ift we click on subscribe me now we've got some fields in the pushover service we've got the pushover account we've got the title we've got the message the message priority, the message sound, the URL, and device or group. The message priority, sound, and URL, we only need to consider if we're using the Pushover app. So it can send different notification tones and prioritize notifications to certain devices. I'm only gonna work with the title, the message, and device or group. In the title, I'm gonna delete the text that's in there and put in A. In the message, I'm going to put in one and then in device or group, I'm going to select the drop down and choose Elan underscore ift. Now, why did I put A in the title and one in the message? Because we're sending a notification to Elan. Elan's listening for a command and the driver uses this format. So if I go to the configurator and go to event mapper tab and create a new event map called Sam Geofence. In the event section, I go to generic device, if to maker, and in the available events is A, B, C, D, E, and so on down to O. Then in the drop down is the number one through to 30. So we're replicating the event in a LAN on the if action. If we'll send A1 and the LAN is listening for that command, very much like the string to event driver. Back on the if applet, I'll click create. So the applet is, if you enter an area, then send a push notification. I'll now click continue. Finally, you'll need to download and log into the IFT app on your mobile device so that the location services will know where you are. I've already done this on my phone. And that's done for the web-based services. So pushover's done, IFT is done. All it's left to do is create uh, an event map or maps, depending on your application, whether you have multiple users geofencing or just a single geofence. Because I'm using the free tier of IFT, I can only create one location event. So I'll create a single event that will play some tones on my touchscreen, send a push message to my touchscreen as well, and my mobile phone, and also bring on some lights, so the gate lights and the porch lights, for instance. In the configurator, under the event map I just created, I'm gonna to go to the event and go to generic device, 
ift maker and select a and in the drop down select one and then press ok so before i add the command i'm going to create a push message and call it sam's phone has triggered the geofence with a time and date token and then press apply then i'm going to go back to the event mapper and add some actions to my event so i'm going to add a audible tone to play on the touch screen i'm going to add in the push message to the touch screen and to my mobile phone that's the important one and then bring on some lighting so the gate lights and the porch lights You could also add in a variable there as well. So if it was nighttime, do something different to daytime, for instance. And that's all done. All that's left to do now is test it. I need to go out and get some diesel for my car. On the way back, I should get a notification that I've triggered the geofence. So in this video, I was driving back towards my house and the geofence was triggered. My phone has received a notification and inside my office, the touchscreen received a push message and the relevant lights will have come on too. But because the touchscreen goes into standby, when I got back, I had to manually go into the lighting section, but you can see that the lights have been turned on. Job done. Ift has so many services available to bring some unique features to a LAN and just general IoT as well. So I hope this video has been of some help and I really appreciate you taking the time to come and watch it.